Towards the end of his sophomore year at Notre Dame, Phil Dracovic was not in a good place. He had lost the love for the game of football and was starting to doubt himself. His frustration and confusion was building and he just didn't know what to do. He thought about transferring, but didn't want the story around his career to be when times got tough, he decided to take the easy road. He considered about changing his position and staying at Notre Dame. In the end, he realized he needed to take control of his own life and make the best decision for himself and not think about what people would think. So, he did. Before we talk about what Phil Dracovic did to turn his career around, we need to go back where it all began to understand his full journey. Phil Dracovic grew up in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area and showed promise of being a great quarterback from a young age. Pine Richland coach Eric Kasparitz remembered first hearing about Phil when he was in 7th grade playing for Pine Ridgeland Middle School. Eric told Tribe Live, We heard about him in youth football coming up and that he was a big, fast, strong kid. Not even sure he could play quarterback, but he had all the physical traits. They thought about moving him to Farsi his freshman year, but the coach explained, We had Ben DiNucci, future pick quarterback, now at the Dallas Cowboys, so there was no need. Plus, Phil's class was loaded. He could have started on the defense in the state championship game in 2014. He was equally as good on defense then, but we made a conscious decision to keep him down with his teammates to develop to continue to grow with them. Going into his sophomore year, the coaching staff decided to let Phil shine. His head coach recalls what made him so successful so early, saying, Number one, without a doubt, was his competitiveness. His refusal to lose, his drive to be the best at whatever he does. That's not just on the football field. That's in the weight room. That's playing pickup basketball. Everybody knew Phil was going to be great or Phil was going to work as hard as he could to be great, and everybody else wanted to raise their level up to Phil's. He finished his sophomore year throwing for 2,560 yards, 20 touchdowns and 4 interceptions, while also rushing for 1,250 yards and 11 touchdowns. As a junior, Dracovic threw for 1,673 yards, 12 touchdowns and 2 interceptions, while also rushing for 481 yards and 8 touchdowns. Expectations were high for Phil Dracovic going into his senior year, and he delivered throwing for 3,969 yards, which is third most in Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League history for a single season, 39 touchdowns and just 6 interceptions, while also rushing for 1,211 yards and 24 touchdowns on the ground. Being the second quarterback in Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League history, throw for 3,000 yards and rush for 1,000 yards in a season, and registered a state single-season record for total yards with 5,180, while leading Pine Ridgeland High School to a 16-0 record in the 2017 Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association 6A State Championship. His 11,144 career yards is second best in Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League history, and it was compiled in only two and a half seasons after missing half his sophomore year with a thumb injury. Dracovic was also named to the 2018 U.S. Army All-American Bowl, where he was one of four finalists for the Felix Doc Blanchard Award, which recognizes a player on the U.S. Army All-American Bowl East roster who exhibits prowess in the classroom and on the field throughout high school. Throughout high school, Phil embraced being hated by the opposing fans. After leading his high school to an undefeated regular season, Phil decided to do his best Baker Mayfield impression and plant the Pine Ridgeland flag on the North Allegheny 50-yard line. His head coach told USA Today that was a little for last year. They threw a halfback pass up 30 points with two minutes left in the game. North Allegheny didn't see it that way because when Phil came back to the school a week later to watch his girlfriend and some friends play in a field hockey championship game, he was barred from entering by the game personnel. Along with football, Phil was a four-year starter for the basketball team, finishing second in school history with 1,656 career points, and although they lost in the last career game, the game itself was one of his favorite memories, with one of his teammates telling Notre Dame Insider, For a high school basketball game, when you and your teammates are announced with 9,000 people booing us as loudly as they can, it's not something that you will ever experience unless you're extremely lucky. Phil and I shared in this mindset, whether it's football or basketball, we love going into those hostile away crowds. During his senior year, he became the first WPIAL quarterback to be named All-State in both football and basketball in 50 years. Coming out of high school, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Phil Dracovic was a four-star recruit who was the second-best player in Pennsylvania, fourth-best dual-threat quarterback, and 83rd-best player nationally. He received over 16 different Division I offers from the likes of Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, Ohio State, and Penn State. Notre Dame planned to only offer one quarterback at a time in the 2018 recruiting class, and they decided to go with Dracovic. 
with offensive coordinator quarterback coach Mike Sanford, building a strong relationship with the Western Pennsylvania product, visiting him multiple times in school. Dracovic took multiple visits to South Bend himself, and going into his last visit, he planned to commit to the Irish Telling Bleacher Report, I came up here with the intent of committing. It's the right fit for me. The whole education of Notre Dame from the books to the spirituality, the whole university and everything that it offers, I just fell in love with it. He spoke on why he loved Notre Dame, saying one of my favorite things about Notre Dame, if not the favorite, is that most people either love them or they hate them. Offensive coordinator Chip Long was telling me that last year against Miami, how they were on the bus and people were chucking things at the bus. I think that's great. I think that's awesome. That just makes it more fun. According to CBS Sports Network recruiting analyst Tom Lemming, Dracovic has a really strong whip-like arm that's even going to get bigger. He's a confident, productive kid playing a really good program. This is a major catch for Notre Dame. Dracovic was a highly anticipated player when he got to Notre Dame, but he would need to wait his turn for this opportunity to start with Ian Book having a firm grasp on the starting quarterback job. He made his collegiate debut against Wake Forest, but that was basically the biggest thing that happened that year. Going to his sophomore year, Dracovic was Book's main backup, seeing action in six games, throwing for 222 yards and two touchdowns, while also rushing for 130 yards on the ground. He started to doubt himself and thought about switching positions, telling the Post-Gazette, Near the end at Notre Dame, I was really not liking football. I lost my love for it. I really did. I brought up to my family about switching positions and not even playing quarterback. I wanted to make it work. I didn't want to be one of those guys when things got hard, they transfer and they run away from it. But talking with my family, I had to leave. And after I decided to leave, it was very hard. You understand that you're leaving your dream school, the team you always watched growing up. But I didn't know what Notre Dame was like. I committed to the dream of Notre Dame and not everything else. He knew down the road he would be able to play at Notre Dame, but more so decided to leave the program because he found he was not progressing as a player. He knew coming out of high school he would need to go somewhere and develop, but he found himself regressing at times. So in early January, he entered his name into the transfer portal. Boston College was one of the first schools to reach out to him. Dracovic told the Post-Gazette, Coach Cignetti reached out to me. Honestly, I never watched Boston College in my life. I never rooted for them, and I did not give one crap about Boston College. My first reaction was no. Nothing about it was appealing. But the more I started to talk to Coach Signetti, things changed. He has family in Pittsburgh. I went to Pine Ridgeland with some of his family. Then I talked to Coach Hathley, and it was just those two that made my decision. Dracovic wanted to go somewhere where he could learn under a coach with some NFL experience, and head coach Jeff Hathley was the perfect choice. Dracovic talked to Pittsburgh, but they had just recruited another transfer quarterback, and Penn State wanted him to walk on because they didn't have a scholarship for him at the time. So, Boston College seemed like the perfect place with Dracovic saying, the second time around, I didn't go for the brand. I went for nothing other than people. I found really good people in Halfley and Signetti, and I made this decision for a chance to play for them. Coach Halfley is 100% real. They're for the players here, and not just in the football sense. During the 2020 season, Dracovic threw for 2,558 yards, 17 touchdowns and 5 interceptions, and loved playing the game of football again. This year, he has missed some time with an injury, only playing in 4 games so far, throwing for 747 yards, 5 touchdowns and 1 interception. In his second game back from a hand injury he suffered on the second drive against UMass, Dracovic threw for 310 yards and 2 touchdowns. Originally, it was believed he wouldn't be able to return this season, but now he focuses on finishing the 2021 season strong. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.